Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to set up the SOS feature on your Galaxy S6. Now with both the regular S6 and the S6 Edge, Samsung has included a new feature that could be very helpful in an emergency situation. Basically you select some emergency contacts and if you're ever in a dangerous situation you just press your power button three times then images from your front and back camera will be sent to the emergency contacts. It will also send your exact location as well as an audio recording and a message saying that you need help. So it's effectively a panic button for your smartphone. To get started just head to the settings menu on your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. From here choose privacy and safety. Then tap the send SOS messages entry. On this next screen go ahead and toggle the switch at the top of the screen to on then tick the box near the bottom of the screen and press agree. From here it will inform you that you need to add at least one emergency contact. So press add on this pop up then you'll be taken to a list of your contacts. You can choose up to four people from this list and each of them will be contacted when you trigger the SOS. But when you finish selecting your emergency contacts press done then hit the back button at the top of the screen. From here you can choose what information you would like to send in an emergency situation. Like I said it will send pictures, audio and even your location but you can turn any of these off if you want to. I should also note that this feature will only work if you're using the default messaging app. If you've set a third party texting app as your SMS handler it will not work. But when you find yourself in an emergency situation all you have to do now is press your device's power button three times in rapid succession. At this point you'll see an ongoing notification that tells you this information is being sent and on the other end they'll get a text message containing pictures from your front and rear camera as well as your location and an audio recording. So it's a nice peace of mind feature that can be of great help if you ever need it but let's hope we never have to use it. For the full breakdown though be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.